Now we'll look at profile of a line. Circularity is a cross-section of cylindricity. Straightness is a cross-section of flatness. Circular runout is a cross-section of total runout. And profile of a line is essentially a cross-section of a profile of a surface. However, while most cross-section controls offer more flexibility, profile of a line is more likely to be used to refine and decrease the tolerance of a profile of a surface, or to tolerance only a specific line on a surface. For instance, if this part had an overall profile of a surface tolerance for 0.08 millimeters, but a mating part that latched to this center line here needed higher precision, a tighter profile of a line tolerance could be called out only for this midpoint line. This would mean that a laser scan or CMM of the part would allow a 0.08 millimeter tolerance everywhere, but only the 0.03 millimeter tolerance along this single line. Profile of a line could also be used to call only specific lines. This sloping shape could have three specific lines called out on it with a profile of a line callout. When an entire surface is called out with profile of a line with datum references, you should have instead used profile of a surface. This is because unlike circularity or flatness that operate independent of orientation, a profile that is held in place by datums can only be in a single location, locking the TZ into a specific spot. This means each independent cross-section TZ that is checked would be locked in place as well, having the same result as a full surface TZ. Thus using profile of a surface would make more sense. Now let's look at two features of profile controls that you should know.